more or less better than the you know, spin cam. And uh, all right, so let's first define the model. Uh, so it will be on a hexagonal lattice, planar model. Uh, and the configurations are collections of uh, non-intersecting non -intersecting, uh, loops uh, cycles. So it looks like this, a collection of loops. Uh, and now uh, the probability of each configuration is uh, proportional to our n to the power uh, number of loops in the, uh, in the configuration times x to the number of edges. So here, for instance, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight loops, and uh, more edges. Uh, so particular cases which are of uh, interest are, uh, well, uh, n equal x equal one. This corresponds to the percolation. Why? Because in this case, in fact, we don't, I mean, all configurations are equiprobable. It's just uh, a uh, uniform measure on uh, all possible configurations. And what is a configuration? Well, uh, there's a bijection between uh, all loop configurations uh, and uh, all colorings, uh, faces of the lattice in two colors. So like, like this, each, each loop will separate uh, uh, sides of different color. Uh, OK. Uh, yeah, in here, p is equal to 1 half. Uh, so, and in fact, uh, if you, we, we take in general n equals 1, we obtain uh, the Ising model if we don't fix the value of x. Ising model on a triangle lattice, because uh, here again uh, n will not contribute, and n equals 1, so number of loops doesn't matter, uh, and uh, only number of uh, edges is important. But what are edges? So, I just recall you that edges were here, there were boundaries between the hexagons of different color. So now, in f now it's a number of adjacent hexagons of different color, and uh, we just count. Uh, it's 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 the definition of the Ising model, right? Which was already at least uh, on the uh, in Clement's talk, and maybe also second talk. Uh, and um, if we take x uh, below one, it will be Fermagetic uh, Ising model, and if you take x equal one, it's percolation, and the x greater than one, it's the uh, anti-Fermagetic Ising model. Uh, so, and uh, n equals zero corresponds to the self-avoiding walk. Well, I mean, you would ask maybe why, where can we have a self-avoiding walk here if we have a loop configuration? Well, in fact, if n equals zero, then there is no loops. And uh, let's say we impose the boundary conditions with two points on the boundary, which will have degree one, like, say maybe here and there. Uh, and then uh, given that there is no loops, we'll have to have just exactly one path joining these uh, two points, so it will be uh, self-avoiding walk. Uh, and uh, the question which one could ask about, uh, uh, yes, and sorry, and, uh, just before. In general, for a general n, uh, in integer n, uh, integer positive n, uh, the loop point model uh, is, is conjectured to be in the same universality class as the spin on model, and that's in fact how the loop point model was defined. Spin on model is, uh, uh, is a generalization of the Ising model where spins are on n-dimen n-dimensional sphere. Uh, and uh, the uh, Hermitonian is invariant, uh, is invariant under rotations. That's where the name is coming from. It's O in rotations. Anyway, so, uh, but, okay. Uh, we'll be interested mostly in like non-integer n, whatever. n equals n1 is well studied. Uh, and the question is, uh, let's say we, we take first the box of t, t times t. Uh, and then we'll let t go to, go to infinity, so the box becomes bigger and bigger. The question is whether we will see macroscopic loops, where we'll see something in the limit, in a sense, uh, or we'll just, it will be just very sparse small loops. Uh, so yeah, and the, the answer, yeah, I will just tell you the answer a bit before, so it maybe, yeah, uh, to, be, to be sure. So yes, uh, we will see the loops, uh, the macroscopic loops for n between one and two at, uh, at the critical level at the critical point x, which I will discuss, uh, which we'll define later. Uh, so, and let us check out the simulation. So, we're done by Eno Spinker. Uh, so, if you take n equal 1.4 and x equal uh, 0 0.6, which, I mean, for, for n, point, one, n equal 1.4, x is uh, almost a critical point. So, that's why it was chosen like this. Uh, and the, we see here that uh, the loops, at least, at least some, well, let's say this is probably the biggest loop. 
So, so yeah, so here we say loops, uh, and uh, when we uh, go for, when we cross a loop, we change the color. So it was either gray or, or white, and uh, let's say white and gray, then again white. Uh, so similar to the uh, to the red uh, blue representation, which I show, which I showed in the previous slide. Uh, and uh, well, okay, maybe I should have also showed the. So, so, so here we see big loops, but they will say if we if we take x a bit a bit smaller, what you're going to see, you're going to see uh, something like this. In fact, it will be just box and very small loops, tiny loops somewhere here and there. Unlike unlike here, where you see uh, you see rather big loops here and maybe there as well. Okay, so uh, but yeah, maybe. Yeah, uh, okay, anyway. Uh, so, then let's move to physics predictions. Well, prediction is uh, that for, uh, that there are, uh, so the yeah, Bain house and Burton, Burton in house, uh, that uh, there are microscopic loops for, for n uh, between zero and two, and x larger than uh, one uh, over root two plus root two minus n. So this line, this curve corresponds to this uh, this parabolic uh, curve, well, uh, graph, which I which I drew myself, so it's not correct, but uh, more or less. Uh, so so here they should be microscopic, including the boundary, uh, and outside they should be uh, they, they should be exponential decay of the loop lengths, so the loops will be very small. Uh, so so this, these are physics predictions. Mostly they are unproven, and in fact there is no clear monotonicity in parameters here. So if you just if you fix n and you were change x, maybe you would wait that uh, the loops will become longer. Uh, well, probably it is the case, but uh, we cannot prove it at the moment. It is not known. So then, uh, what is known uh, so far? So mostly it's uh, about n equals one, which is the Ising model. Uh, uh, yes. So this is the, this line for from uh, from zero to to one, including uh, one. Uh, so here, here it's, it's well studied. It's, it's shown that there will be a subcritical regime with exponential decay of loop lengths below uh, one over root three, which is the critical point here, and uh, there will be microscopic loops above. Uh, and uh, at the points uh, one over root three and one, so this will be the critical point for the Ising model, and this will be uh, the, per uh, the side percolation in triangle lattice with parameter one half. So for them, it's shown that there is a conformal invariance. Uh, and uh, okay, and also for x very small, it is shown that it will be exponential decay, and for n very large, uh, it is shown that it's, it's there is exponential decay for all x. So there is no phase transition for those values of n. I mean, but yeah, it's it's quite far. It's not just uh, three or four. It's uh, uh, okay. So then, uh, what do we show? So in this. Uh, in this, in this work, we show that uh, we add this this line here. Uh, we show that uh, for n between one and two, and uh, x uh, critical, so equal to one over two plus or two minus n. Uh, there are microscopic loops on uh, on this on this line, uh, though we don't know. We cannot uh, yet say that there are microscopic loops also above it, even though it's expected. But uh, as I said, there is no monotonicity, so we don't know. Uh, this we don't know. Uh, and uh, also, we know that there uh, for, uh, for in, in this uh, in this re in this regime of parameters, so n at least one, uh, and x below uh, one over root n, here, there is the dichotomy between the two possible regimes, microscopic loops or exponential decay, because a priori we don't a priori we couldn't say if if uh, if uh, we're in one of the two cases, meaning that maybe there's something intermediate as well. So th this this theorem excludes this for uh, for the regime of yeah and, 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 at least, and at least one and x below one over ten and uh, and, and in the first theorem uh, is actually based on the on the, on the dichotomy theorem and just proves that in fact in this you know, on this line we can show we can uh, we can show exactly which regime is realized and this is macroscopic loops uh, okay so. Let me uh, say a couple of uh, words about the proof. I will not uh, say too much. Uh, so the proof is based uh, on a red-blue uh, representation, which we saw in the first slide, 
where we, uh, well, well, okay, I could maybe remind you, but uh, where we colored uh, all sides into colors and in blue, and uh, we were switching colors each time when we crossed the loop. Uh, so, in fact, this was, it was done for the percolation of Ising model, but in fact, you can consider exactly the same representation for all other values of n, uh, with difference that you have to define the weights a bit differently. But it will be, again, the just a cluster, cluster model. Basically, you just you, you count number of clusters. If before, uh, before we were counting only number of uh, adjacent hexagons of uh, different colors, now we'll also count number of all, all, uh, cluster, all red clusters and all blue clusters. And, uh, it will be, yeah, that's it. Uh, in fact, you can show that it's exactly number of loops because uh, for, each, uh, for each cluster, uh, for each finite cluster, there's a loop around it. So number of clusters co uh, coincides with number of loops. Uh, okay, and then for this uh, representation, you can show that uh, in a certain regime of parameters for n at least one and x below one over 10, there is the FKG inequality, meaning that there is a positive, a positive association. So if, if, let's say, given that one hexagon is red, uh, probability that the other one is red is increasing, is, is bigger than the, the probability that uh, the, the, the second is, uh, is red given that the first was blue. Uh, or you can formulate it in terms of increasing events. Uh, and this puts us in, uh, in the setup of random cluster model where uh, it was recently proven by Hugo Vladas and Vincent that uh, uh, there is a dichotomy theorem, uh, the same as I stated before, but in terms, in, 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 but, but for the random cluster model, uh, and uh, also there they uh, they proved uh, that uh, the well uh, that I, I, I think, uh, but it was okay. Anyway, I would not comment too much on that proof. Uh, and uh, yes, so so, so further. In order to distinguish between the two phases, as well as in the random cluster model, here we also use the Smirnov square of paraphernalic observable, which I will not, I won't have, I mean, I don't define, but uh, it's a tool, uh, well, it's, 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 it's a certain function which allows you to derive uh, uh, relations on the partition functions with different boundary conditions, let's say. You take a domain and you fix different boundary conditions, and uh, using this, uh, and th this works only at the critical level. It is uh, one over two plus root two minus n. Uh, and this allows you to, to show that, uh, in fact, uh, partition functions with long paths uh, have basically, uh, basically of the same order as partition functions without paths. And then you need to glue these long paths into a long loop. And this can be done. But uh, there's, there's some work in it, but uh, basically you, you take long paths, you're, you put them together, and the problem is that when you glue several domains, there will be maybe loops exactly on the place where you glue them. But then using the dichotomy theorem, you can show that, well, if either way in macroscopic regime or in special decay, if macroscopic will prove what we wanted, if uh, we're in expression decay, then these loops which cross the boundary are very small and we can just get rid of them. Uh, okay. Yes. Questions?